Hey guys, welcome back to Tropical Aquatics. Today we are talking about reptiles and amphibians. So here I have um, one of my tortoises. Um, he's about one and a half. And yeah, he's a Jordanian Greek tortoise. So Adam, you can go next. I have my bearded dragon. He is an Eastern bearded dragon and he is five years old. And then do you have your toad? Oh, my toad, yes, stay there. My toad. Oh, Mother Jablinski. Here is my toad. That's my turtle and he's like a month old. I'm gonna go wash my hands now. This is my toad. His name is, her name is Jablinski. And then you saw Maze's turtle. So yeah. I'm gonna go wash my hands. All right, they both went to wash their hands. All right. I think a plus of having a turtle is that they're really cute. But a minus of this one is that he doesn't want to eat. He only eats very, he doesn't eat very often. So, I, mean, I don't know. Yeah, so let's talk about the basics of reptiles and amphibians. So it really depends on what you're caring for. But usually reptiles need, if not a little bit, um, or if not, well, yeah, but most need a source of humidity. Um, Bearded dragons don't. Yeah, I yeah. mean, no, like most of them do. Um, yeah. Some tortoises don't. Um, I don't think tortoises do need it. Some, I mean, the tropical ones, like uh, cherry yeah. heads and... Redfoot, they live in the rainforest, so they like some humidity, but, um, and most of the time you're going to need a good enclosure for them. So it really depends on what you're keeping, but usually a glass tank keeps humidity in well, and, um, another good option for maybe a, um, a tree lizard or a gecko or something is a, um, is a glass or is a um, screened in um, enclosure because it keeps in humidity fairly well and it's easy for them to climb on. So those are some of the things that you're gonna um, want to look for. And actually, um, I'm gonna have to go put this guy back real quick. So you guys can do some talking for a second if you guys. Yeah. So bearded dragons are. Uh... I would say, people say they're easy to care for. They are easy to care for, but they get they, they get they get big. Uh huh. This guy here is about two feet long. Mm -hmm. But that he his foot is like a, his tail is like a foot long. Now I'm gonna be I'm gonna be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, um, okay. if you're looking for a quite easy reptile to care for, leopard you're geckos. Wanna, you're gonna want to go, yeah, for a leopard gecko. Um, they're the cheapest, I would say. They are. <laughs> they're pretty common. Because they they don't they don't need humidity. They need a humid hide though. You just put wet yeah. wet paper towels. They don't need a basking lamp because they're yeah. nocturnal. These guys need a basking lamp, UVB, all that. Yeah, same with um, tortoises. Tortoises and bearded dragons really need the UVB light because yeah, they because, develop metabolic bone disease. Yeah, because they have shells and the tortoises have the shell, which they also need lots of calcium for. Same with the bearded dragons. They need a good calcium source. Yeah. The so, closest living ancestor of the, the closest living relative of the bearded dragon is actually the chameleon. Oh really? Yeah, because they can change the color on their their scales running down their tail. All that can change color. Usually gray when they're stressed. His is a about uh like he doesn't really care. He's like I'm chilling. These guys are really the king of chill. Yeah, they 
they're fairly they're good they're good animals but you know there's you always need to be responsible with what you're keeping you need to meet the requirements for the animal and nothing is gonna nothing you can just sit you can just put in the enclosure and then just let it live you need to do some maintenance and Got you. It's cleaned once a month, right, boy? You get cleaned once a month because they don't poop a lot. So when I'm gonna get a bearded dragon, I'm gonna um or a oh yeah, dip. maze. By the way, I think uh only one one of the eggs is currently living. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, I was anyway gonna uh, already get um, some leopard geckos, so I'm probably gonna give them a bath like once a month. Yeah, but um, yeah, he he gets a bath a lot. Right? Yeah, tortoises need tortoises need it um once um like every other or every other like every other day or every other two days because they um that's how they stay hydrated. They they take in water from their skin. And that's how they stay just hydrated. like amphibians. Yeah, they're pretty closely related to amphibians. They're closely related to turtles, so. So there let's talk about amphibians now. Um Yes. I don't have much experience with amphibians. I do. But Adam because does, so you can go I ahead. I do and have amphibians. So uh oh nope, nope, okay, never mind. My bearded dragon is going has gone under my ottoman. I'll be back. Alright. And now he's up the other side of my ottoman. Hello. You can free roam. So amphibians, you don't want to touch them or handle them a lot. Yeah. yeah. They, they will absorb every human oil on your skin. So I handle mine every time we do something, which is like once, two times, like once a week. So I'm just going to handle that much. Wait, what kind of amphibians do you have? What amphibians? He, he, I have a toad and a frog. Toads aren't uh, amphibians. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. No, they're, I thought they were reptiles. No, toads no. are amphibians. They're amphibians, yeah. No. Yeah, they spend most of their time on land, but they still go in the water. Yeah, so they... Well, on their babies, they go in the water. Well, yeah, because they're yeah. tadpoles and they have gills. Yeah, so I have a fowler's toad. Of course, he was wild-caught, because you can't really buy toads if they're not wild-caught. You really can't buy toads. No, don't leave. Okay. Yeah, because so my toad is a wild cut toad, caught by yours truly. My bearded dragon was bought. Can I see your toad? No, I don't really want to pick him up right now. No. Yeah, but I'll show you him on Zoom. Can you just show me, can you just show us his tank? Oh. He lives in a Tupperware container. With holes That's in awesome. it. Has he... Yeah, they don't need a, they don't need a lot of space. He's right there. Oh, oh there he is. Or she. Yeah, it is a she. What do you feed him or her? Sorry. He uh he doesn't like super ones or male worms. He will only eat crickets. Only thing he will eat. You don't you don't they don't really like vegetables very much, frogs or toads. Yeah, they They yeah. more like the meaty They're, stuff. And they, they and they don't need a heat lamp. All they need really need is humidity and humidity soil to soak that in. And then they're cleaning about once a month. So. Yeah, that's pretty close to. Um, yeah, that that seems. So if you guys are looking to get an amphibian, um, they're harder. They are because you can't handle them as much. Oh wait, uh, uh, a really easy one is an African clawed frog. You can't handle yes. them at all because they live in the water full water. time. I have I I have an African clawed frog. Not here. Um, my other tanks are. He lives with a snail. He ate the shrimp. So. And then he's another. Bad, if you're looking for something smaller, African dwarf frogs. Uh, which yeah, are, you guys can put you can put them in like a two gallon. Oh, yeah, no, you but. can find them at any. I'm I'm talking like any pet store. Wait, what? African, African dwarf, dwarf frogs. Dwarf frogs. And African cod frogs are commonly sold as African dwarf frogs. Yeah. 
if they get bigger. Oh, another one. A good thing is, about bearded dragons is their tail can't detach. They can't. They can't detach. They can, they can, oh, yeah, they can't regrow their tails, can they? No, they can't detach them. No, they can't. No, bearded dragons can lose their tails. They can? Yeah, they can. Well, then, this is a lot of juicy meat. You're very, no, if yours has a tail, and Both of mine have tails. If yours has an, if your bearded dragon has a tail and it's an adult, you're taking very good care of it. It's I've, like never the same with beard, I've never seen a bearded dragon without a tail. Neither have I. And They're I basically just little nubs on their butt. That's what they are. I don't want to see one. I'm yeah. going to look that up. I'm looking that I up. have. It's, it's caused by a uh, stuck shed or metal, metabolic bone disease. Oh, yeah. He doesn't oh, have either of those. Yeah, yeah. That's... He gets a bath Thank whenever you. he sheds. Dragon. Another good option for an amphibian, which is um, full time in the water, is an axolotl. Mm -hmm. However, yes. they, they no, do you need can handle axolotls. Well, I mean, I guess Barely. you could like, yeah, like okay. once a month. Because, like other amphibians, they, they can absorb um, natural oils from your skin. And they, Never mind, bearded dragons can regrow their tails, too, and drop them. They just don't do it because it's a good source of m meat and food if they haven't had food for a couple weeks. Yeah, they can bite off their Yeah, that's Yeah, that's if they're really, like, hungry. I'm surprised my turtle's so I yeah, just put him, they, on, put him on a pad of paper, and he's just sitting there. <clears throat> Just sleeping. This is this is Daddy Bearded Dragon. This is Daddy. Big Dad. This is Big Daddy. Or his name is Timmy. Hey, Timmy. What's the mom's name? Uh, sweetheart. Oh, that's so Timmy. cute. I didn't, I didn't name her. Sweetheart. Exactly. Well, his name is Lord Timothy. Lord Timothy and Sweetheart. And um, Empress Sweetheart. Lord Timothy and Empress Sweetheart. Stay, could, yes, Empress. Empress. His his title is is uh, Duke of Lakewood Ranch. Mm -hmm. No. Yes. Lorius. Yes, oh. he he, he is the, the descendant of, of Queen Elizabeth. Of Lord. He he is the descendant of Queen Elizabeth, and yes, Queen Elizabeth is actually a bit of a dragon. Mm. Queen Elizabeth is not a bearded dragon. She's a mortal. Like, how old is she? Good she's point. in like her late 90s. She's like 96 she's, or something. She's, not, she's 93. Uh, she's a mortal. Like, she is immortal. If she survives through coronavirus, she's immortal. No, I mean, she is immortal. My 95. Do you guys want to see? Do you guys want to see my bearded dragon with no toes? Well, she has a couple toes. But. Yes. Mama okay. mama doesn't have a lot of toes. Sure. There she My is. mouth is on fire right now. I just ate a bunch of flaming hot Doritos. Okay, but okay. okay. There we go. You can keep basking while I uh, get mommy out. Okay. Dude, you can't T Rex me, okay? I can still see you when you're not moving, dude. The only moves I'm not looking at them. Mom, mommy's cage is daddy's old cage. Oh, wow, that's so cool. I because prefer you he, not call it a cage. But why? My dog. Oh my god, she really needs to tank. Yeah, well, yeah, well, yes, she, like, she, like she has like been her. going. She has been going through a rough week, so that's why she's looked discolored. She has laid twenty six eggs. So she's she's a you're you're a little rough today, right? Yeah. Yeah, she only eats uh vegetables out of your hand. Wow, that's uh, that's, that's why nice. she got her name. Yeah, but she she just laid a ton of eggs. So right, yeah, she's probably gonna go to the vet to soon to make sure she doesn't have any more eggs in her. Or and she's probably get vet? Yeah, I gotta do that to make sure she doesn't have an egg. Oh in no, her. turtle. Can we see your turtle? No. Oh, what? 
I see your turtle. Yes. What type of turtle is he? I have no idea. We just found him. I think he's a. Oh, he's a red eared monster. He has a red eared slider. He's a little. I can't see him. I can there see him. Is. Yeah, there he is. There he is. He's, he's little. Yes, he is little. Yeah, so there a lot there's a lot of good reptiles and amphibians and yeah. as long as you give them proper care and you do your research, then yeah. you will be successful. Yes. Yeah. Dirty dragons are easy to take care of. But they so are love for geckos. Yes, get the dragons. Just get big. They do get big. How long do they get? Like fourteen inches? No, they can get over. They can get almost two feet long. Oh, okay. My male is two feet. No, I don't really. Yeah. I'm. I'm not too big in the lizard community. Oh. Uh, yeah, he's a more. Um. What are what family are turtles or turtles and tortoises classified in? Uh, testudines. No yeah, testudines. Yeah. Yep. Hopefully. I think some lizards are classified into testudines as well. You mean terrapins? Oh yeah, terrapins. Yeah, terrapins are um turtles and tortoises. Yeah, and it, well, actually, terrapins are a type of. They're not a type of them, a turtle, but they're um related to turtles like tortoises are um but they they live in brackish water mm -hmm. yes uh well they found out that uh, tortoises are actually a subspecies of turtle mm -hmm. yeah yeah and they're not actually a separate species like a whole separate yeah. thing like That's why they I evolve they, they evolve differently in the branch of evolution it's they're a subspecies, which means they grew up differently. It's a turtle who basically never went in the water. Wait, um, um it's, it's probably an example of rapid evolution. Probably how much more time is left on this? Mm, we can do a couple more minutes. Okay, kids, don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. Don't abuse your animals. Don't or else don't abuse will your call animals. the police. You guys think reptiles should be counted in animal abuse? Yes, they should be. Yes. We must protest. And you know a law that I actually really like? What? In some states, or in some countries, you're not allowed to keep a, um, I know this is not reptiles, but you're not allowed to keep um, a fish tank that's under 15 gallons, or 40 I liters, like I think it is. Well, Why not? nobody, nobody knows leaders know. in this country. It's yeah. so stupid. I mean, it prevents animal abuse. It's true. Well, that doesn't, that, that just lowers the it's thing. Probably, it's, it's probably like Pakistan. No, I think it's actually Germany. I think they do it in Germany. All oh it my does god, is I wanted to move the there. I wanted to move to Germany. Wow, that's I don't want to move to Germany anymore. Yeah. Let's move to the United Kingdom. They're nice. Or Canada. Canada has the Asian arrow on us. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah! Oh. Oh. Start a fish store, tropical aquatic. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. It would be cool. It's and too expensive, though. Asian arrow on us are like $1,000. They're 2000 Oh, that's so much better. <coughs> then we sell them for double the price. It's a one thousand. <coughs> Adam, yeah, okay. We're gonna make some profit off of the Asian arowanas. Uh, we priced baby ten thousand. Wait, why are Asian why are Asian arowanas illegal in the U.S.? Because they're very endangered. Uh, well, that well, we, Canada's the same as the U.S. It's bigger. I mean. And colder. Exactly. And socialist. <laughs> yeah. 
There's a lot of communists there. Or not communists, socialists. So they they are socialists. Yeah. They everything are not in fascists. Ca- everything, everything in Canada is free. Good point. A lot of like they're so are. nice there. True. True. Yeah. We need a bath like desperately. Guys, I have Act- a question. Guys, I have a question. Yeah. What? Is Canadian a language or an accent? It's an Canadian accent. Totally. An accent because I mean Okay, thanks. Because I was I was like, is it an is it a language? Like do I have to learn an entire new language? Is no, the, the 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 national language for Canada is French and English. Yeah, French and English, yeah. Oh, uh, no, that makes sense. They have two national languages. Like for Florida the eastern part is Yeah, like yeah. Florida Florida, like Florida is English. Is, yeah, it's Spanish and English in Florida. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why there's a lot of Spanish. Yeah, there's a lot of Spanish. There's also and a lot of like Spanish. Louisiana, it's French and English. Yeah. There's a lot of Spanish architecture in Florida too. That's why you see. And, and, and it's it's also Germany and Pennsylvania. Germany, Pennsylvania. It's like it's like the like the Pennsylvania, which is the redneck version of Pennsylvania. It's the redneck side. They all speak <laughs> German there. Oh really. <laughs> Yeah, because they, that's this where my family is from, Pennsylvania. Although I feel like more um, rednecks yeah. live in, um, this, like, in the southern Kentucky. states. Yeah, because my family immigrated from Germany in 1721 to the United States and Canada. Well, it wasn't the United States, it was the British territory. Well, yeah, at the time it was the um, colonies. The 13 colonies. All right. I think that's yes. it for today. Yes, for today. See you guys on Monday. Yep. Carlo, you, you need to upload the second one that we did. Yeah, I Monday. actually, I didn't, I'm, not, I'm actually not going to upload that one. Sorry, viewers. I'm not going to upload Monday's video because it was pretty short and we didn't really cover much about it. So... Yeah, okay. but we'll have this video up, and then we'll have Monday's video up on Monday. I promise Got you. It. Guys. All right. Well, remember to keep those nitrates, phosphates, ammonia low. Drop aquatics. Remember to not abuse your animals.